Hello everyone. In today's episode, we are going to talk about Acoustica 7 Premium Edition. Acoustica, it's the latest product by Econ Digital, and it's a digital audio editor for Mac and PC that works for mono, stereo, and surround domain. And also, it's particularly directed for audio engineers, filmmakers, sound designers, content creators, podcast, and many other things, that, especially audio restoration. So let's have a look. Okay, so here we have our trusty Pro Tools, which I, I'm, is going to be my uh, program where I'm going to use the uh, various plugin of uh, Acoustica 7. And then we are going to transfer to Acoustica 7 itself. So um, here we have um, just, um, I'm going to use the uh, extract dialog, which is the equivalent of a dialog isolate of RX8. And uh, I just was recording myself out of the windows with the traffic noise in the background. So let's listen to an example first. Put my microphone slightly further away from my mouth so that it can pick up much more the traffic noise. And uh, so as you can hear, there is a quite a lot of traffic noise in the background. So I'm going to attenuate the, uh, the noise and um, let's see if Acoustica will be able to uh, isolate my dialogue. It's probably people looking at me on the windows, uh, holding a microphone and head, uh, headphones and you know, asking what this guy is doing. So uh, I'm testing Acoustica 7, guys. <laughs> so yeah, the traffic here, it's um, quite strong. So let's try another example. I have here um, an extract from a film that I was working on, which uh, it's much more noisy, so. Just like, again, I feel like you're just not, you're not here. See, this is, a, this is the thing. So, pretty noisy, much more noisy than my example. So let's uh, attenuate the noise and see what happens. Just like, again, I feel like you're just not, you're not here. See, this is it, this is the thing. Walk around all day long, every day saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, like everything is fine, when you really act like a fucking zombie. So, pretty much impressive, I have to say. It's, it, well, not completely, and you can hear there is slightly uh, artifacts on the voice, but, you know, if you listen to the original recordings... Walk around all day long, every day saying I'm... The, the, the background noise, it's louder than the voice. Fine, I'm fine, like everything is fine, but you really act like a fucking zombie. So, that was the first one, so let's go now with the... Uh, the wind, so basically, wind removal. So let's play here. It's quite windy, as you can hear. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot windy, actually. And uh, let's see how much the plugin can remove the wind. So, very windy. Um, let's now try to see if the plugin can remove the wind. And uh, let's see how much the plugin can remove the wind, which uh, it will result on a, you know, very let's put it low back. and frec base frequencies uh, cleaning. Uh, you know, usually to remove the wind, you can even equalize uh, and removing the low-end frequencies. So, as good as RX-8. Now, let's try the Russell. So, let's listen to this example. Just, just trying to basically uh, placing the boom mic as if it was as a lavalier mic on my chest and see if I can just get some... So, there is a quite a quite a not so strong rustle, but you know, just a, let's see um, what he's doing. Just just trying to basically uh, placing the boom mic as if it was as a lavalier mic, and it completely removed the rustle on my chest and put it back. Kind of rub it, rub it to my chest, and see if I can just get some nice. And as you can see, it completely isolates the dialogue here, even here. Uh, I have another example from uh, a film I was working. Let's listen to this one and much more Russell here. I have always oh. been two steps ahead of you, oh. Sebastian. Let's try to remove this one here. I have always oh. been 
two steps ahead of you. Oh, Sebastian. And in this example, this is from an actual lavalier that was inside the actress. I have always been two steps ahead of you. Okay, a bit of sensitivity. Sebastian. I have always been two steps ahead of you. Sebastian. So it removes perfectly as well. Uh, next one, it's the Diplosive. Diplosive is for um, all these uh, P letters, uh, B, and all those, um, you know, more uh, uh, sound of the voice that are more towards the medium bass frequency range. So let's play with the bypass. Professionalism, experimentation, incompatibility, unprivileged, unsophisticated. Cardiopulmonary, multiprocessing. So, I was reading letters that contain the letter P, just for you know the context. So let's remove the bypass and uh, let's try to attenuate the letters. Professionalism, experimentation, incompatibility, unprivileged. Professionalism, experimentation, incompatibility, unprivileged, unsophisticated. Cardiopulmonary. Multiprocessing, electroporesis. It removes completely the piece, the P letters, you know, the annoying, bumpy sounds. Um, then we have uh, D bus. So let's try uh, D bus. So D bus is for, you know, air condition, uh, you know, fans in the background, small, uh, you know, camera noise, and all those, you know, fridge engine. So let's play, let's bypass it first and list it then. I am in my bathroom now. Well, you can hear this uh, a bit of uh, reverb. Um, so that's the fan of my bathroom. And it's a bass sound. It's categorized under the bass sounds. So uh, there is a, a slight uh, buzzing in the background coming from the, the fan of the bathroom. So let's uh, move the bypass and let's attenuate the sound and see if it managed to remove the buzzing sound. Well, you can hear this uh, a bit of uh, reverb. Um, so that's the fan of my bathroom. And it's a bass sound. It's categorized under the bass sounds, um, which is quite strong, I have to say. It's really, really strong. Bypass it. For, for being a bass sound, it's like really overwhelming. And I am sure that uh, Acoustica 7 will be able to remove it properly because it's also a constant sound that doesn't change in pitch, doesn't change in melodies. So if, here again, uh, the bass sounds, it's removed to perfection, I have to say. Okay, so the next one, it's um, Remix. So basically, Remix is the equivalent of music rebalance. So you can, with the audio suite, go to Acon Digital, transfer to Acoustica, and it will basically transfer this clip, this piece of audio to the standalone program. And then you can work on this, uh, do the uh, modification and send it back to Pro Tools. So, so this, this piece is uh, from um, Bonas Forza, which is um, um, my side project, and, and uh, this piece uh, is um, called Don't Mind Me, uh, featuring Kid of Melody, which is a M London MC and is going to be coming out soon in, on an album that we're preparing for you guys. So, if you go to uh, Tools Remix, so as I said, this is like music rebalance. You can, you know, you have a different element in a song. You have drums, vocals, piano, bass, and all the other set of the sounds. And you can remove magically almost or reduce the volume of each element of the song. So let's play the song now. And if I want to remove the drums and the bass, or if I want to remove the vocal and have only the rest of the sounds and the piano put off or if I want just the drums
and you can, you know, obviously make it louder. You know, if I want to put back the bass, but have it much louder. So it is exactly like a music rebalance and, you know, if you want just the vocals and just the drums, you can just move everything and you can hit process and it will extract all the sounds and just leaving you the one that you choose. And once you're done, you can just hit render and it will send it back to Pro Tools, which is an incredible thing. Um, next one, we have Vitalize. So Vitalize, now here we have again the same song. The timeline, this is content coming straight from my mind. Um, you're not going to hear this the way, but the quality of this song is a bit reduced because um, a few weeks ago I was, I was playing a DJ set uh, at uh, Yuku Record Store in Prague and uh, we uploaded this DJ set on Mixcloud and uh, I wanted to, to download this DJ set and I basically took it from Mixcloud and, you know, when you download something from Mixcloud or also, you know, for example, you are having a Skype conversation, uh, the audio is not very is not very good quality. It's been reduced of the especially the mids and the high frequencies and the harmonics. So uh, Vitalize plugin basically it's um, recovering those uh, harmonics. So let's now let's play the track with the bypass plugin and just put it back after and see the difference in the quality. Timeline, this is content coming straight. So now it's bypass and I put it on. So it recovers the sort of crispiness in the song, which is, you know, pretty much uh, cool things for if you want to recover, you know, old rusty sounds and, you know, stuff that is uh, ripped off from the internet, from YouTube, sound from YouTube or, you know, uh, Skype calls. Uh, next one, we have phase rotation. So phase rotation that also RX has. So let's send this to um, a Acoustica standalone plugin, standalone program. So phase rotation, it's, for example, this sound here. As you can see, um, it's peaking. If we do the statistic, we can check. Um, that the max, the maximum sample peak level, which is this one here, uh, eight point seventy six dB, and this one here, it's much shorter. So you know when you when you want to do the phase rotation, it's um, you know when you're working in dialogue, the sound it's hitting here, and the limiter is gonna tell you that it's already hitting eight point seventy six dB, when in reality it's not. So uh, phase rotation it's basically aligning all the waveform, making it perfectly symmetrical. So uh, we go here, rotate phase, and you need to leave uh, on adaptive and process, and you will see the whole waveform becoming perfectly symmetrical. So now if we are checking the statistics, the maximum peak sample level is 6.13 dB in both sides. So um, the next plugin, it's Spectrogram, like in RX-8. So let's go Audio Suite, Econ Digital, transfer to Acoustica. We're going back to Acoustica here. And if you want to visualize Spectrogram, you just click here. And you can see now we can work and we can isolate the uh, various elements into the sound. Um, and the siren of the police, it's basically this line here. So uh, here it comes in place those, um, you know, if people that use RX-8 will know what those things are. So you just selecting the portion of the sound and you either isolate it or you attenuate it or you replace it with something else. So let's try with the, uh, the magic, magic words here and see, we can get this piece here. And this is the attenuation. Um, we can put attenuation of 
70% and click this button here to attenuate this part. Let's try this winner here. You know, let's just try to basically the whole, uh, you know, snake of the siren and see if we can manage to remove from this sound of the video, uh, you know, uh, uh, field recording the, the siren. So there is a still a little bit here. You know, the, the, the magic wand basically recognize what is the sound that you want to remove more or less. And, uh, okay. So it looks like that it's kind of gone. So let's now play and see. And it's gone. Well, I can... It's been attenuated. It's not completely gone. It's been attenuated, but you know, it's much better from what it was before. And uh, once that you're happy, you just click render. Well, you can check here. Yeah, and you can render and it's sending it back to Pro Tools. And now if we're playing, it's been removed. So those are the most significant plugins of Acoustica. So yeah, after this uh, extensive um, showcase of the, the best plugins of uh, Acoustica, uh, you know, you can get an idea of uh, how good it is. And, you know, uh, RX9 is the leader in the market for sound design for filmmakers and audio restoration. Uh, and I've been using RX8 for three years now, but I have to say that Acoustica the dialogue editing capabilities of uh, Acoustica, it's really second to none. Um, and not only that, you know, in Acoustica, you can also work uh, uh, multi-track records, so you can use it as if it was uh, a digital audio workstation. Uh, it can integrate inside Pro Tools, as you saw before. And all of that for only 193 euros. That is insanely cheap. Uh, RX8, RX9 now, sorry, it's uh, more than a thousand euro. So you, you can get your point when, you know, what's the best for you. Um, I used Acoustica for the last two weeks and I've been working on some project and, uh, you know, I am really not disappointed. So I'm going to leave the link in the description so that you can, uh, you can buy it or you can get it, you can download a demo so that you can get yourself an idea. And uh, so that's everything for today. Thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one.